Oh! Yo, what was that? Come back to deliver us Mars. We've got Moon Bear back in the old locker. Chilling out, right. Been going through flashbacks and all that stuff. Uh, we are in space, we're in zero G, we're on a ship. So let's just lit up. Anyway guys, hope you have a bang it day today. Thank you so much for watching the series. Uh, I can't wait to see where this goes. So we fixed the thrusters outside in the last episode. Uh, let's do it. Start routine checkups. Oh, is that Mars? Yay! Thumbnail. There it is. Seems like we've hit something there, mate. Where's the crew? Oh no. What now? Same thruster. How bad is it? Bad, sis. One broken thruster can send us completely off course. I'll sit up. Let me do it. I'm already out of torpor. No, it's much too dangerous. Claire, we have to act fast. I'm going. Please be careful. I'll head to the cockpit to guide you. Copy. Sweet. All right, I'm ready. I'm gonna send it out. Go back to the thrusters this way. Pretty mad. So we did fix the thrusters in the last one. Seem to have buggered it again. Something seems to keep hitting it. No sweat. Are we hitting those yellow canisters? Switch that thing off. Oh. This guy. Not ideal. the uh, canisters here, boy. Steady. Let's get her down a little bit. Another one gone. Just got to think, that little panel's indefinitely going that way. Forever. <laughs> Don't know if that needs cutting a little bit more. Oxygen's going down. Did just notice that. A bit quicker on the old beams, love. Have we got to cut these? Nice. Oh! Yo, what was that? Oh no, mate. Oh no. Not good. Not good. Are we not we're not gonna crash land on Mars, are we? Oh dude. Did I hit a yellow canister? What the Oh no. It's cracking. Oh, gnarly. Oh, God. You can go further. Get her in. <laughs> Smash that button like you've never smashed it before. I'd freaking run in headbutt it, man. Spear it. With your face. Get over here. 
Been on the base. Hang on. What's this, guys? You had a little sesh on the camp. The forest feels denser now, compared to a few years ago, at least. <sighs> That's impossible, unfortunately. I know. That's why I said feels. And it still looks beautiful. It used to look even more beautiful. And it can become more beautiful again someday. Maybe. Maybe. E-U-A-K. I just... I haven't been here in a while, that's all. You look sad. No, no, I'm fine. I'm glad we get to spend some time together before you have to leave. Girls, we're almost there. Let's keep walking. Come on. Let's go. Bro, if they had like a collector's edition of this game, right, they should put this bear in it. It would be so sick. I don't think you can get like a physical copy of this game, it's like digital. Maybe it sells enough. Dad, are you going to finish this story? Right, yeah, um, where was I? Ah, right, okay, so, so her mum was visiting one of her friends at a frat party that night. What's a frat party? Uh, well, it, it, it's like a birthday party, but instead of presents, people just, um, drink a lot. That sounds stupid. It was. I never liked going to those either. Uh, yeah, but I'm glad I did go to this one. Your mum saw me staring at her so much that she finally came up and asked me why I wasn't dancing. Why weren't you? Well, you've seen me dance. I told her that getting me to dance was a bad idea, and well, um, I was proven right. What happened? I hit her drink out of her hands as I was flailing about like a lunatic. Then a piece of the broken glass got lodged in her leg. Then Dude. there was blood everywhere, and then we had to go to the emergency room. Oh, Jesus, Dad. Needless to say, I didn't dance again until our wedding day. But, Dad, why did Mummy fall in love with you then? I really have no idea, darling. Right, what's going on here? Where are you taking me? Cool, right? Oh, I see where this is going. We're getting the pickaxes out. Little tutorial, oh, little yeah. side mesh. All right. Now this is all still here. Uh, Claire and I used to come climbing here all the time. Why do you yeah, like yeah. this guy? Well, you were a bit too young for that. Still on. Okay, Moonbear, come and get your gear. I love the gear. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Final checks to commence mission. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, my foot. So, this is like the climbing wall at home. It's at this time you get to use these cool looking claw things at left foot. Mum doesn't look too pleased about it. Wall, you are one step closer to the moon. Dad. Yeah. Are there a lot of walls to climb on the moon? Um, no. But, but to get to the moon, you need a badge. Just like your scouting badges, basically. Why do I need a climbing badge? Well, well, it's a badge that, on our journey to the moon, were we to make an emergency landing, we needed to climb our way out, you could, and then find your way home. Can something go wrong with the rocket? No, 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 they're, they're perfect. Yes. Isn't that right, Claire? They're completely safe, Kathy. One hundred percent. Lies. All right. So, final tally. Go or no go. Let's go. go. Send it. Yeah, those climbing things are always big as her. Let's get her on. I'm running. I'm ready. I'm jumping on the bag and slamming it in the wall, man. Boom. Boom. Nailing it first time. I've got the skills. Give me that badge now. I'm ready. Can I jump off this thing onto the bag? That's what I want to do.
We're going to frickin' Mars. <laughs> Do I make it across here? Ooh, a little bit difficult. Am oh, I meant to be doing this right now? Ah, interesting. That's kinda... That's a cool way of doing it, you know. I can't really explain it, but you gotta like drag it out. Stick your left pickaxe in, drag it out. Stick that one in and aim it. Very cool way of doing that. Lara Croft, it was just like, push up. Oh, mum's worrying. It's alright. I can climb walls, it's fine. Look, <laughs> neck. WMO reports that I do, you watch the same news, you... You know what happened. Are you guys finished? Please, just come with us. Don't, don't you? Come on, Claire. I heard it all, guys. Damn, savage. Come on, let's put the gear away. Give it together, chap. Boom! See that jump there? Why doesn't Claire want to go with us? I think it's something to say. Don't worry. Change your mind. And we'll be together? Yep. Nope. Let's get you home. Um, need a big rest before your exam tomorrow. Bacon sandwich, mate. Get it on. Could do one right now. Brown sauce, red sauce in your bacon sandwich. What are you saying? Me? Brown sauce. I don't touch the red stuff. Not a fan, lads. It makes me just, when I smell it, I'm like, ugh, ugh. It's gross, mate. Have you been watching me sleep? Yes. That's kind of creepy, Seth. I just, I just brought that for comfort. Uh, what do you expect to find on Mars, Kat? Nothing. I understand what you're thinking. I think, but sometimes what we want isn't. It's always difficult to do the right thing, and I really believe I've always meant well. Isaac? You mean Dad? Dad always meant well. It's not a dad, is it? I just need you is to it? understand, he was not always good at doing the right thing. Right. Well, at least he always tries to do the right thing. Right. Well, that's all that matters, right? He's always looked out for us, he couldn't help what happened. Yeah, you're right. It's not weird for me to want to find him, is it? He's dead. I need to know that when we get there, you'll make the right decisions. Claire, Kathy, come meet us in the cockpit. Cat, I said I'd do what's best for the mission. So far, I'm doing just that. Right?
Not happy. Trouble, you're stuck in the ship, you don't want to fall out with people, do you? Yes, stuck in space. What? I know Outward's the bad guy, but you can't deny how impressive it is what they do. <laughs> okay, you just shouldn't glorify them, that's all. Okay. Well, that might have put a bit of a damper on this, but... Opera team, I give you... Arc Lavos. Hey. Seen solar panels like these? Looks like they combine standard PV panels with a sort of CSP layering over it. Excuse you? It appears these panels first concentrate the solar rays to optimization before they hit the photovoltaic semiconductors. The increase to efficiency is exponential. How could they be so far ahead of us? And why does it look abandoned? Let's find out. Sarah, Ryan, suit up and prepare to board. Kathy, start the pre-docking preparations. I'm doing the docking procedure. Yes, you're staying aboard the Zephyr with me. Now please start the procedure. All right, Ryan and Sarah, prepare to board. Supervise the procedure on this terminal. Okay. Kathy, CMG and pit controls are released and available for manual control. On it. Waypoint zero to two are calculated and defined. Waypoint two assigned to auto lock abort function. Final go no go pilot waypoint two. All right, Kathy, take us in. Awesome, guys. We're going to leave it there for episode four. Hope you're enjoying this series so far. Still haven't made it to Mars yet. What's going to happen when we get there? I'm looking forward to coming across the whip again and ride that little beast across Mars. <laughs> I think we had that in one or two episodes in the last in the last game. Uh, it's going to be cool to reunite with that but anyway guys thank you so much for watching drop a like I'd really appreciate it and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one this game is sick right guys peace